Hi, I have a 2010 Kawasaki FR651 V22 horsepower V-twin. It just started surging as low RPM. I have clean 100% gas, fuel filter was changed about 30 days ago and the air cleaner is clean and new. Looks like the governor is possibly the problem but before hauling to shop I wonder if there is another possible issue causing the surge. Any ideas? Do you have fuel in the tank? If so, is the shut-off valve open and the fuel clean? Yes and yes. I was using the mower yesterday when the surge began. I thought maybe I was about out of fuel but was not. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? If I can. I live in a rural area quite a ways from nearest shop and am an avid deer. Anything else we should know to help you best? Not that I can think of. Mower is well maintained but is going on 7 years old. Welcome to Just Answer Small Engines, let me try to help you. I don't know at all, but maybe together we can get you a satisfactory answer. With twin engine surging, I always want to run a cylinder test. Loosen the spark plug wires, and with engine idling, remove one spark plug wire at a time, engine should continue to run. If it dies when one war is removed, the opposite cylinder is not firing. Check it for spark. No spark, you would have a bad coil. Common failure on Kawasaki. I will give that a try but the engine seems to run fine when the throttle is advanced beyond 50% and does not seem to be missing. When watching the carb while idling there is an arm below the carb coming out of the back of the engine which I presume is the governor that moves up and down reducing and increasing what I suspect is the intake valve and then causing the increases and decreases in RPM. Run the cylinder check, the governor is trying to compensate for cylinder difference. These engines run well on just one cylinder. Will do. Okay. Just got back home and ran the cylinder check. Interestingly, when I pulled on plug wire the surge stopped when I replaced it the surge began again. Did the same thing when the other wire was removed and replaced. Checked both for spark and both seemed to be sparking brightly. But engine kept running, and did not die. So that makes me think that the surge is a lack of fuel t the cylinders. Have you replaced the fuel filter and checked the flow of fuel to the carburetor? Has carburetor been removed and cleaned? Fuel filter is a month old and clear. I have not checked the flow nor have I cleaned the carburetor. I guess unhooking the line from the pump to the carb and turning it over would verify good flow? If that is good, then I will pull the carb and give it a good cleaning. Yes, check the fuel flow to the carburetor, if it is good, then the carb. Have checked fuel flow which is good. Carb looks clean but have disassembled and am waiting on gasket set to reassemble which are due in a couple of days. Local dealer did not have in stock and I can buy online without having to make long trip to dealer. Will also replace air filter but the current one is fairly new and looks clean. Okay, if it still surges after carburetor is installed, can you remove the fuel solenoid and plug the hole for test? with solenoid removed? Not certain what fuel solenoid is. Is it the small cylindrical piece on bottom of carb bowl which has wires connected? 
Yes. That is anti equals backfire solenoid, which lugs the main jet in the carburetor. Has to open with key on, and stay open as long as key is on. Has T have 12 volts to stay Owen. Wife having major surgery this morn. Will not get back on mower until later in week. Okay. Looks like dirty carb was problem. No carb kit available so cleaned it good, BLRW it out and put back with new gaskets. Running normal. Thanks for your help. I probably would have hauled to shop before cleaning carb. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.